Okay, so possessive adjectives in Spanish. Um, so this is like in English, my, in this case, my cat, or our, in this case, our house. So let's have a look how they work in Spanish. Now, unlike in English, they change sometimes depending on whether the noun is masculine or feminine or plural. Um, but it doesn't depend on the person who is doing the possessing. Um, it depends on the thing that's being possessed. So if it was my house, it was the house that controls um, what the possessive adjective is. You don't really see much difference with my, but if you have a look at our, for example, our changes from the masculine and the feminine. So depending on whether the noun is masculine or feminine, you'd use nuestro or nuestra. We'll see some examples in a minute. Let's just have a look then. So my is either me if it's masculine, no change if it's feminine is me as well. Spell M-I, just be careful of the spelling of that. And then if the thing that is afterwards is plural, then we'd use mis. So if we said my pencils, we'd use mis because the word pencils is in plural. And then your singular, so if you're talking just to one person, it's tu, tu or tus, exactly the same sort of rules. Here's her and its, su, su and sus. And then this is where we kind of see a, more of a difference between the masculine and feminine. Our, nuestro, nuestra if it's feminine, nuestros if it's masculine or a mixture of masculine and feminine, or nuestras if it's feminine, plural. Your, plural, so you're talking to more than one person. Vuestro. Vuestra for the feminine, vuestros if it's plural and it's a mixture of masculine and feminine, or vuestras if it's just plural feminine. And then there, so su, su, and su. So it's just like the his, her, and its one. Okay, and you'd understand it by context more than anything else. Okay, let's keep going then. Let's have a look what else. So, some examples. So remember, we, we said that the, the pronoun changes. Pronoun, the adjective rather changes depending on what the uh, the noun is at the end. So my example is my pencils here. I'm not plural, but pencils are. So we'd use the plural form of my, which is mis, mis lapices. Our brother. Now our brother. I'm um, I'm male, but it could be two girls talking about this. But because the word brother's masculine, they'd still use the word nuestro, and because it's singular, they'd still use nuestro, not nuestro, nuestros. Our sister, nuestra hermana, nuestra, because hermana is singular and feminine. Their house, and there's only, there's lots of them, there's only one house, so that's why we use a singular form. Su casa, because casa is singular. Um, it's also feminine, but there isn't a feminine form for this. And her friends, sus amigos. Now, she's not plural, but her friends are, so that's why we use the sus form. Okay, right, rewind it back if you're not sure, have another little look at it and look at the table as well, um, and then have a go at the example, uh, the practice that's coming next. Okay, so generally in Spanish, if the, if the noun ends in O, it's masculine, if it ends in A, it's feminine, and if there's an S on the end, then generally it's plural, but you might need to use a dictionary to help you with some of them, because if they don't have those endings, or they're slightly irregular, you might need to check. So let's have a look at the examples, and if you put these into Spanish... Okay, now I've put a couple of adjectives in the bottom as well, um, normal adjectives, just to have a little practice of that. But if you get the possessive adjective right, and that's what's more important. Okay, pause it here and then play it again for the answers. Okay, so the first one, my sisters, mis hermanas. Remember, sisters is plural, so we need to use the plural my form, mis hermanas. Her brother, su hermano. Su would be for masculine and feminine, so it doesn't really matter for this one. Our aunts. Nuestras tías. Aunts because it's feminine and plural, so we'd use nuestras, whether we're boys or girls or whatever, because tías is feminine and plural, we need to use nuestras. Their car. Car because it's singular, we use su and not sus. Your friends, so I put your singular, the singular your, so you tus. Tus amigos, amigos because it's uh, tus because it's plural, the amigos word is plural uh, and not singular. Okay, my book, mi libro, okay, not too complicated that one, but just be careful how you spell it, M-I rather than M-E. Your plural homework, so your if you're talking to lots of people. 
vuestros deberes. Deberes is masculine and it's plural. So we use the masculine plural um, form of the possessive adjective vuestros. His restaurant. Su restaurante. Remember that could be her restaurant as well. It's restaurant. Their restaurant. Restaurant is masculine and it's singular. So we use su. Our favorite restaurants. Nuestros restaurantes favoritos. So notice with these possessive adjectives, they go before the noun, which is unlike normal adjectives. Favoritos at the end. Uh, masculine um, plural for this time. So we use nuestros. And then the last one. Mi vida maravillosa or fantastica. You might have a different adjective there at the end, which might mean wonderful as well. But the main point here is we've got mi vida. Right? Again, be careful how you spell it. M-I. Sometimes students have a tendency to put M-E because it's like me, me, M-I. All right. Okay. So, rewind it back if you're not sure. Um, otherwise, I think you're done. Okay.